Hey, welcome back to K6 UDA Radio. We're, uh, we're gonna build an antenna today. Uh, I don't know. What else do you want to do? It's a ham radio show, for God's sake. Uh, what do you want me to do? Talk about cats? It's a random wire antenna. That means it doesn't have to be any particular length. It's, I'm not trying to cut this thing for 40 meters or 80 meters or 20 meters. I'm just cutting a, an antenna that's going to go over the top of my motorhome. I'm going to use uh, some 14 gauge wire today. Safety pins. <laughs> yeah, baby. I got this nifty little 9 to 1 matching unit from Hawaii. How cool is that? I got a Hawaiian part on my little ham radio. You know what? This will make you a stud. Beautiful women will flock to you just because you've got this cool antenna. So let's build it. Okay, for this build we're using some 14 gauge automotive wire that I had laying around in the shop. And when they're all done and cut, I spool them up on these little reels that I built and safety pin them together. Notice that I've used uh, some automotive uh, circle connectors to put it all together. This fiberglass telescoping kite pole from jackkite.com really does the trick. It deploys in just minutes. It's less than four feet tall when it's all collapsed and is very, very light and easy to use. The little 9 to 1 matchbox matching unit that I've got here is the best one that I've used for portable operations. Because we're fitting this to the motorhome and not to the band per se, I'm going to use the pole, stick the wire up over the motorhome and drape it down, measure it to the motorhome as opposed to the so band. Anyway, I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring this hunk of wire all the way over here. So I run it up to the front of the bus. I've got my wire here. The um, my coax is right there. I'll cut it and measure it and we'll see what uh, what we got if it comes to length. Certain lengths you just don't want to use. We're going to find out how far off we are. I think this is probably going to be about where I want to make my first cut. So after making that first cut, the wire measured out to about 43 feet, so. which was optimal, but it was a little bit long for the coach. So we cut it down to about 40 feet. The kite pole comes with a small little eyelet in it. So I installed eyelets in the wire and used a uh, safety pin or that pin uh, for temporary to hold it up. Okay. Bring in the wire, and if you could see it, it's bending the pole a little bit. I'm bringing the wire back up to the front of the cab, or to the front of the coach here. I'm gonna dip it. So now that I've brought the wire back up to the front of the coach, I'm gonna install it under the hood. I'm gonna just attach it to the nine to one matching unit using the lug and uh, and the little eyelet that I installed on that wire. That little tail that I put on there is mainly to hold it on to the reel when I roll it up. Uh, but you could use it as a counterpoise. So now we're back inside the motorhome. I've got my coax that runs inside and I've got my little U-Kits antenna analyzer going and I'm sweeping entire segments of the band at uh, uh, short intervals there just so I could kind of see where it's getting a little bit on the resonant side and where it isn't. So this antenna isn't really resonant anywhere in the ham bands 
very close on 80 meters, but that's why I've got a tuner. When you look at it, the bottom is just that, like, uh, you know, it spirals up, but the solid stuff doesn't start hitting it, the solid wound. Let's go down here. I tune it. Turns out real nice. K6 UDA. K6 UDA. K6 UDA. One, two, three. Testing, testing. One, two, three. As you can see, the SWR is down to uh, next to nothing there. And I'm putting out a full 5 watts. So there you have it. A little nifty little N-fed antenna. It'll work, uh, it'll work for me. It'll work for you. If you like my videos, subscribe to me. Like them down there. I don't even know where down there is. Well, yeah. I know where down there is. <laughs> if you're bored here, I'm sure somebody's posted up a nice little cat video that you'd really, really enjoy. Time to go QRT for now. This is K6UDA. Talk hard.